welcome back. We're ready to start playing with our Snack and Loot doll, our Baby Alive doll. He has joined our Baby Alive family. We're so happy to have him here. And as I had pointed out before in a different video when we unboxed him, he must be getting very hungry now because he's been sitting in his box for so, so long. So here's what we have. We have this spoon that we're going to feed him with. This is her, his little bowl. This is his food. So we're gonna actually make his food for him. And then after he eats, we might need to go ahead and change his diapers. We have that for later. Christy, would you like to help me make some food for him first of all? Yeah. Let's make some food in here, put it in here, and then we'll serve him out of this bowl, okay? Okay, which, which food do we want you want to feed him? I think we should feed him both because I think they have good, each one has different good micronutrients that will help him with all of his nutritional needs. Let's go ahead and dig out a little bit of this orange food. I think this is good for making some oranges. Oh, baby, you're gonna so use some... your fingers. Now, I've never made baby doll food, so you'll have to excuse me if I mess up, but I'm gonna do the very best I can. So I'm gonna stuck, stick those in there like that. Here's some more food. And we'll do some purple as well, like that. Oh, baby, you can use your fingers if you want. I think so. My hands are clean, and I think he will be just fine. Let's put those in there. Recently, Christy and Daddy went to a food handler's class. We learned all about good food handling. One of the things we learned is that if we're making ready-to-eat foods and we're touching it, we need to wear gloves. However, with Baby Alive's, the rules are a little bit different, so we'll be okay in this situation. What we do, I'm assuming, let's find out if this works, but I'm assuming we just press this really well. Do you want to help me, Chrissy? See if you can help. Yeah, press it really well. Should we try it? Yeah. Ready? Let's do it slowly, okay? We set it down flat, and we very slowly, slowly, slowly pull it up and hope that everything would sit just right. <gasps> oh. Let's see. Oh, a couple of them got stuck up here. Well, that's okay. Let's see if we can get them out into the bowl. One, two. Let's count how many orange pieces and how many purple pieces. One, two, three, four, five oranges and one, two, three, four, five purples. That's good, we have the even number of each. Now we are ready for the moment we've all been waiting for. This is when we feed our little boy. Can you help me with this? I'm not sure how to feed him. Um, well, if you... Let's see, oh, oh no, we dropped it. Let's try that again. Put it in the spoon. There we go. And then I see. Now what sing. happens? How do you do it? Oh! I dropped it again. I stink you. There we go. And. Did he eat it? Oh, he did. It's gone. There we go. Let's try it. He just now ate a purple. Now he's ready for an orange. Here we go. And boom. Oh, he did it. Yes. That reminds me. I was going to do his. Remember how Emma loves to eat her pears? Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Here, you want to try it? Yeah, let me lay his down so I can see if he can go back. Oh, careful. You're going to give him a bruise. We don't want to bruise Mr. Little Luke, right? But you're right, we do need to make sure the food goes down the hatch. <laughs> oh, oh no! That's he, okay, we can try it again. He throwed up yeah, his food. <laughs> he threw it up. No, I think it just fell out of his mouth. That happens sometimes with babies. He's such a good eater. I'm so impressed. No wonder. Because he was in that box for so long. He's got to be so hungry by now. All done. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of... Oh, wait. I almost forgot. There we go. Oh, he was very good. Oops. We got to take his bow though. Oh, that's better. Good. Let's look at his shirt. What does his shirt say? It says... Oh, it's like an airplane and a compass. And it says south, east, west and that should be north up there. Perfect. I'm gonna put his diaper on. And when we change diapers, 
we don't want to pull him back like this because that's not good for his spine. So instead, we can push him, pull him to the side, something like that. I don't remember. That's what they told us. And then we can push that there, and boom, he's all set, ready to go, ready to kill off another diaper when that time comes. Right? Because that's what babies do. They kill off diapers. Yay! Christy and I have been talking and we've decided that we want to call him Ethan! Thanks for watching. Goodbye! Bye!